What's up guys? Sitting in my office, catching up on some paperwork, but I'm getting ready to head out and try to catch me some running water fish. But I thought I'd take a minute or two and explain to you how I know where the running water is right now from my office. That explanation is next. Stick around. Okay, I have spent hours and hours and hours trying to figure out how to explain this in such a way that makes sense. So, there are three links down in the description below. The first one, which looks like this, is just gonna give you a graphical plot of where the water is. So, for the Kissimmee River Basin, <clears throat> you just click Lake Kissimmee, and the red line here is what is called Zone B elevation. That is the elevation that the Corps of Engineers and the water management district have determined to be safe elevations you guys got to remember this chain of lakes is here and managed number one for flood control number two for farming and irrigation and number three for recreation we're last we will always be last that's just a fact however you can use this information to make fishing a more pleasurable experience for you because this will give you some indication of where the water is running now you can see that right now all that rainfall that we've had in the last two weeks has got the elevation of Kissimmee about a foot and a half above where it should be which is this red line here at the moment what's gonna happen over the next few weeks is they're going to pull this blue down to the red that is mandated by the zone B elevation regulations. Okay, so how do you use that for your own good? Well, there's a couple terms that you guys need to know about the Kissimmee chain. And we're gonna go to the second link, which is this link, which is the South Florida Water Management District's real-time data. We're gonna click here to get to a map, we're going to go over it. We're going to click the water level stages map. Now this is all of the structures and tide gauges, water level gauges that are in the water management district. We're concerned about Kissimmee. So all you have to do is zoom in and get yourself centered again so we can look at what we want to look at. Okay, so you have Lake Kissimmee, you have Lake Toho, and you have all these other contributing lakes. There's 10 or so that contribute to the Kissimmee River Basin. <clears throat> now, where does it matter that it's raining? So, this is Alligator Lizzie Chain that is basically draining all of St. Cloud, including East Lake Toho. This is the Shingle Creek area which drains South Orlando I Drive area. This is the Reedy Creek, which drains basically Disney. You have Marion Creek, you have Catfish Creek, you got Rosalie and Tiger, which also drains walking water. And then you've got Jackson Canal or Jack Slough, which drains Lake Jackson. So all of this water that's been falling on us for the last few weeks it's got to go somewhere. Well, there are some important numbers on this page that you need to pay attention to. Number one is S61, right in this area here. That is the Southport Lock at the south end of Lake Toho. The other one that's important is the S63 structure, which is Canoe Creek Dam coming out of Cyprus. That's as far as you can get up Canoe Creek. And then the last important number is the S65, which is the State Road 60 uh, lock. Now, now you understand what these numbers are, you can go to the last link I have, which is this one. What this will tell you is the cubic feet of water coming over a structure at any one time. So let's look at S61 right now at 2.47 on Wednesday afternoon. They're running 2,317 cubic feet of water 
with one gate open 11 feet. So they have got the gate at Southport wide open, dumping as much water as they can out of Tovo. The other one that's important is S63A, which is this one coming out of Lake Gentry and Alligator and Lizzie. They've got both gates open at 2.7 feet, dumping a thousand cubic feet per second over it, which by the way, a cubic feet is seven and a half gallons roughly. So you got 7,000 gallons a second coming out of Canoe Creek right now. You've got about 15,000 gallons a second coming out of Toho. And then coming out of S65, you've got 4,690 cubic feet per second. All five gates are open, running over two and a half feet. So you're looking at 35,000 gallons per second coming out of the bottom end of Kissimmee right now. What that means is if you go back to the main lake map, there is water running everywhere. Jack Slough is running, Otter Slough is running, Rosalie Creek, Tiger Creek, Marion Creek, Catfish Creek. Everywhere there is any possibility for running water, it's running it now. And it's gonna continue to run for about two weeks. Now, if we keep getting rain, it may run longer than that because we are so far above where we're supposed to be at the moment. It takes a while to get that water out of the south end of Lake Kissimmee. These three links that are down in the description below will always tell you exactly what's happening on the lake. This tells you we're above the stage. This tells you what structure numbers to look at. This is gonna tell you how, what kind of flow is happening at each structure. Remember, S61, S63A, and S65. That's the easiest explanation I can come up with. I have it on my phone. You can follow these links on your phone. In the upper right hand corner, there's three little dots. You can push that button and it'll actually give you an option to download that to your homepage. I have them on my phone. I could flip up anytime, anywhere I'm at when I'm thinking about fishing instead of what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm at and decide where I'm going to fish before I even get home. But anyway, that's the simplest explanation I can come up with. I hope this helps. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.